Did I ever tell you guys that I love Pokemon? Actually, you know what? I think I might already have! <laughs> I actually just had a bit of a flashback of when I reviewed the first Pokemon movie. You know, the one that is actually based on the anime, uh, starring Mewtwo and all that kind of stuff. Uh, now, in case you guys might have forgotten that, or in case you don't know about my lifelong devotion to Pokemon, here's a little recap. I remember back when I was a kid, I was a major Pokemon fan. Well, technically I still am now since I'm still playing the games, but between the late 1990s up to the mid-2000s, I was obsessed with anything Pokemon. I collected the original 151 cards, I collected the little figurines, my Game Boys would 80% of the time have a Pokemon game on its system, I would check out the movies whenever they're in theaters, and I would always catch the anime whenever it was on TV. Yeah, as you could tell from that and, well, what's all around me, I could actually be much more than just an animation guy. But still the same geek as before. <laughs> Anyways, with that said, I think it is safe to say that I am actually really excited for Detective Pikachu. Okay, I wasn't always anticipated for it. I would be lying if I said that I never had any doubts about it. I mean, we're talking about a live-action Pokemon movie from a major Hollywood studio. Considering their history with films based on video games, the word infamous would be the best way to describe it. In fact, when it was first announced, some would expect something like... Uh... Meow? <laughs> that, and the fact that it's not actually based on any of the main role-playing games or even the anime starring Ash in the Gang, but rather one of the spin-off games that features a talking Pikachu solving mysteries. I mean, with all the characters we grew up with and the type of stories they usually deliver, this is the one worth making a major motion picture out of? But then suddenly, the first trailer came out, and it changed everything. Welcome to Rhyme City. A celebration of the harmony between humans and Pokemon. Surprisingly enough, it actually looks really promising. From what I could tell, the Pokemon look good, the acting seems like it could hold some weight, and has a story I'd like to know more of what's going on. Regardless of how the movie itself is, I could say that it really is an effective trailer, and since then, it got me hooked to want to check this out. Already, it seems like this movie is actually in the right step to do what most, if not all, big budgeted movies based on video games fail to do. Actually be good. Not just for the fans, but for non-fans as well to come in and actually really appreciate what it's trying to do, like to stand well on its own as its own movie. But now that this film is out of its Pokeball, is that actually the case? Well, we might as well try to be like a little Pikachu right over here, and we gotta be detectives ourselves to go and find out. And the clues seem to point to that if you guys are there to go and uh, check out some live-action Pokémon, you are gonna GET some live-action Pokémon! Might as well start off with the best aspect of the feature. Say what you will about the movie, but the visual effects here are amazing, and it's all thanks to the Pokémon. In a way, the film managed to do the impossible by taking these cartoon-like creatures and adapt them in a live-action environment with realistic textures and movements, yet still retaining their original design from the games and the anime. The result gives its audience the Pokémon they all know and love, but in a way that feels completely believable. This also plays a big part in making its environment feel immersive as well where it feels like the original games coming to life and present the relationship between humans and Pokémon. Some regions view them like wild animals where there is a distinct separation between the people and the creatures, while others like Rhyme City treats everyone like equals and Pokémon can help out on specific jobs and act more like the trainer's buddy. Look, you can talk to humans, I can talk to Pokémon. And if you want to find your pops, we're going to need each other. No, I don't need a Pokemon. What about a world-class detective? As for the individual Pokemon themselves, they actually play a big role in making the movie enjoyable to watch. As a Pokemon fan, I do appreciate that while the first generation of Pokemon are more featured here, 
they do include a whole bunch from the later generations as well in order to diversify the environment and also finding and recognizing them to feel rewarding. In a way, it's a lot like Who Framed Roger Rabbit or Ready Player One where part of the fun is to look out for all the different cameos and appearances, as well as numerous of references to the games and the anime. For Pokemon fans, it does have some rewatchability value for the large amount of easter eggs and there's always a good chance you'll find something new when you'll watch it again. However, just in case, it's probably best to not put your hopes too high if there's a specific Pokemon you want to see and have its moment in the spotlight. Sure, many of the popular ones that are mostly from Gen 1, like Bulbasaur, Psyduck, Mr. Mime, and Mewtwo are prominently featured, on top of a few from the later generations like Snubble, Apom, Torterra, and Greninja, but the rest only have short cameos that appeared as much as they did during the trailers. But then you have the star Pokemon, the one who even gets the privilege to have his name in the title, Pikachu. As he is voiced by Ryan Reynolds, he is exactly what you'd expect him to be, Ryan Reynolds in a Pikachu body. And yet, he is the most enjoyable character and the best actor of the film. There is a good contrast of the snarky attitude with the adorable yellow body, and with Reynolds' signature Deadpool-like humor, he almost single-handedly gave the film some strong comedy. So let me get this right. We're forced to listen to this spa music so your head doesn't explode and kill us all. Suck! As a Pokemon movie, it really succeeded on the Pokemon aspect to really make it enjoyable for everyone. For major fans like myself, we will have a lot of fun checking out all the different scenes that would have every single little reference as much as we could find. Like, we're pretty much on a big Easter egg hunt. While the people who are less familiar with the franchise, they can still have fun with the moments that they will see things that even they can recognize. Like, they'll see some of the big scenes and they'll point out, Oh look, that's a Charizard! Oh look, that's a Jigglypuff! Oh look, that's a Mewtwo! I recognize those Pokémon! But, there is one big catch to this movie. Uh, well, uh, no pun intended, of course. As a Pokemon movie, it certainly did the Pokemon aspect really well. But, as a movie, when you look into the movie part, not so much. Of course, as this movie is called Detective Pikachu, the story has a mystery that the characters have to solve. The film is about a boy named Tim who discovered that his dad tragically died. But then when he found a Pikachu that somehow only he could understand him who lost all of his memory, he finds out that the fate of his dad might not be what people told him. So with the help of some newfound friends, Tim and Pikachu are out to solve the case and find answers to what actually happened to his dad, get Pikachu's memory back, and figure out why can Pikachu only talk to Tim. In terms of story, unfortunately, it comes out a bit weak. Not necessarily the worst detective story in a movie, but it does end up becoming predictable at times and doesn't actually answer all the questions to what happened. I understand that it has to mostly stay true to the game that it's based on in terms of the narrative, but it doesn't change that when some of the answers get revealed, it can make the movie feel absolutely ridiculous, even by Pokemon standards. He's barely moving. Don't tell him that. Oh, he's on a bike. Quick, get in front of him. Stop. Oh, no. He's going down hard, Tim. Should have worn a helmet. Another element that can take away some of the quality of this film is the human characters. As fun as the Pokemon can be, the people in the trainers are not. They feel like a bunch of dull tropes with little substance to deliver onto the feature. Even the dynamic between Tim and Lucy end up feeling generic and kind of makes them look dumb. Like they are not prepared to do these investigations. Some could say that the relationship between the two is meant to be a bit of a throwback to the anime with Ash and his friends, but in a movie setting like this, they end up feeling more annoying than relatable. That and even some of the acting isn't strong enough to help improve the characters. Well, not all of them, of course. Some do a good job on their own, like Bill Nye and Justice Smith. It's more the writing than anything that makes the human characters feel bad. You can hear him, right? Pika Pika! Yeah! Pika Pika Pika, he's adorable. You're adorable. They can't understand me, kid. Can no one else hear him? 
Then again, Pokemon is never really known for having the most compelling stories or the most complex characters that can bring out the best of actors. What is actually very interesting to note about this movie is that early reactions stated that there will be some people who will really enjoy it regardless of how they feel about Pokemon. That this is a movie that both fans and non-fans can actually go and enjoy. Now, if I can be very honest, after watching it and thinking about the perspective of how a fan and a non-fan would feel when watching this movie, I might have to disagree on that a little, and I would say that, yes, it really does depend on how much you like Pokemon. Pokemon Detective Pikachu is an interesting case that somehow works and doesn't at the same time. As a movie, it fails to stand on its own with weak writing that gives out a predictable and sometimes ludicrous story with generic and unappealing characters. But as a Pokemon experience, it's great thanks to the amazing visual effects, the references sprinkled everywhere, the show-stealing Pokemon that give the scene some excitement, and the bonus of the performance and humor of Ryan Reynolds. For my recommendation, the main reason to why anyone would want to see this is because of the Pokemon coming to life. So it does depend on how you feel about the franchise. If you don't care about it at all or not even like Pokemon, then you're not going to get much out of it and might come out giving it at most a 6 or a 5 out of 10. But if you're a Pokemon fan like me or just want to see some live action Pokemon, then you will get some enjoyment out of this, and that's why for my rating, I give this a 7 out of 10. Not a great movie, but I do count this as a fun watch. Probably the best thing that I could say about this movie is that this is a good start. If studios are interested to go and make more Pokemon movies that are in live action in the future, then this one would show that there definitely is an interest and that it is indeed possible. The public has widely approved of the way that they brought Pokemon into live action anyway, so at least that is something. It did deliver them the tools in order to go and actually craft a great Pokemon movie. Now, like I said before, in terms of the Pokemon aspect, they delivered it well. They actually succeeded on that. All it needs is actually a good movie to come with it. If they can actually go and get a great script and the right people to bring this all together, then I am confident that Pokemon will be able to make a huge impact in the movie industry as much as they did in gaming. Now, is this one in particular as good or like would actually be considered the best of the best in terms of video game movies or even Pokemon movies in general? Most likely not, but again, this is a great step in the right direction. Now, uh, I'm pretty busy right now, so if you can excuse me, uh, I actually do have some uh, training to do and... Uh, me and Pikachu gotta go and uh, catch up on making sure our Pokemon can be strong enough for the next battle. Isn't that right, little buddy? <laughs> so, until next time, see you later, dudes. <laughs>